Okay, we met everyone. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. Yes, every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them. The items. You can take anything, I think. Oh, we're gonna take anything anyway. Oh, that's a jackhammer, I think. So, would that be yours? Oh, yes, yes, of course, you can take it, of course. That's fine, go ahead, it shouldn't be a problem, I think. <laughs> what do we got here? A lime lime? Sure, we can take that as well. Get some stuff to start us off. Miner's keepers. Sure, sure, why not? We can either use it or we can sell it. Don't want to be wearing the one outfit all the time, right? Thank you for stopping by. Thank you, Copper. Should we talk to him? Good day to you! Well, aren't we a busy little bee buzzing to and fro? Commendable behavior! Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? What's this? This is the police station. This is where we keep recovered goods, more commonly known as lost things. But it is most certainly not a glorified lost and found, and referring to it as such may well be illegal. Unfortunately, as our police station is so small, we can only handle 20 recovered goods at any one time. When new items are recovered, we sadly have to begin getting rid of the old items in order to make room. Of course, this is only done out of necessity, and we are always sure to dispose of the oldest items first. If you happen to lose anything, this should be the first place you come to find it. Do not delay. Will you require any further briefing on this subject? Nothing. But I'm not finished yet. Are you positive? Understood. I am a little disappointed. Oh, pardon me! It is my duty to assist the citizenry, not to bore them with my own yapping. That is all! Let's be careful out there. Oh, Copper, you funny guy. Oh, great. Hey, hey, hey! Do I know you? I don't think so, Grumble. What are you doing skulking around like that? Oh, you say your name's Pasta, is it? Hey, calm down. You don't need to be so scared. Sorry if I was mean. I'm Groucho. Nice to meet you, Grumble. I have, like, all males in this town so far. What? Female neighbors? Yay! <laughs> I don't want any. Hmm? Oh, you're not. Well, I wish you'd say something. If I'd known you were looking for friends, I'd have been nicer. I'm Olivia, and you're Pasta. That seems easy to remember. See you. That's gonna be a hard one to do all the time. I don't even know if it sounds like a cat, or if it just sounds retarded. Yeah. change out of your uniform, hmm? Just who gave you permission to do that, I'm wondering. I swear, what is it with kids these days, hmm? Always needing a casual workplace. Why, when I was young, we... I suppose I must change with the times, yes? Go on with your hip-hipness. Wear whatever you like. But, you can't wear anything that might make my customers feel uncomfortable, yes? On this point, I won't budge. That's just the way society works, you understand? Sometimes you have to obey the rules, yes? 
I totally did not mean to walk into the store like that. We'll still wear the uniform because we're nice. There you go, So, did you meet everybody in town? What a motley crew, yes? But variety is the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Lemur, you'll never fit in, you understand? But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Hmm? Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah, yes. I need you to deliver some furniture. At last, it's like you're actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Stu in Aver C3, yes? And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. Go straight there and then come straight back, hmm? Kind of an asshole, isn't he? <laughs> Anyways, I also want to do something like this for City Folk. But I figured there's a lot of City Folk videos out there and not... I mean, like this kind of sense, and there's not a lot of the GameCube ones, so I figured I'd start with GameCube first, especially because there's a lot of events in this one, too, that they took out of City Folk for some reason. I've grown a powerful hunger since I saw you last, Moo Dude. Um, what's up, Moo Dude? Delivery for Stu from Tom Nook. I need to burp. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Hey, uh, listen, why are you delivering stuff? Oh, <laughs> you gotta pay off your home. Been there. Wow, I don't envy you. Sounds like you got a lot on your plate. I try to mind my own biz. But if you're still working to pay off your house, you probably haven't bought any furniture yet. Well, hey, I don't need this orange box anymore. Tell you what, take it as a gift, Moo Dude. Too bad we already have one in our house, green yay. Not having any furniture in your house must be a major bummer, right? Yeah, I remember what that was like. You know what? You and you know what you ought to do is try to pick up some stylish stuff for your pad. Yep. As weird as this sounds, I think it's kind of fun getting new furniture. It's like taking a vacation in your house. And moving stuff around is easy. Trust me, I hate effort. Just face it and hold the A button. Once you do that, you can push it and pull it around the room or rotate it. It's really easy, trust me. Oh yeah, and when you want to open, say, the drawers and... What? The drawers on a dresser, just stand in front of it and press the A button. You can do lots of stuff the same way. Turn on the radio, play instruments, whatever. It's real basic. Try it back at your place. Don't skip work to do it, Moo Dude. I've been fired before. It ain't fun. You've been fired before? Where have you worked before? Aside from maybe Tom Nook. So we could give that a try, but honestly, it's an orange box. It's not that exciting. Unfortunately, it's not. Ah. Uh, sorry. Welcome back, Worker Bee. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job, so I figure that earns you, oh, say, 230 bells. Not bad wages, hmm? Now, on to your next task. What's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was a little raccoon, I... No, oh, never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. It should serve your needs just fine. Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. You know, sort of a personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Tutu, who lives in an acre somewhere in row C. It's just good business. Tutu's a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of a special... Sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave that up to you, Pasta. But try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Pasta, who works for me, yes? You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes? You'll find the post office in Acre A4. Now, hurry back, hmm? Writing letter. Pasta.
did a lot today, and I didn't mean to do this much, so I'm probably going to end it after this uh, errand that I just completed. Did you send the letter? Good job! It took you longer than I'd liked, so I'll have to talk you a bit. That is 1.30 bells now. But I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Oh, yes, well... I, uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to just hang out around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, yes? Just be sure to come back here after a bit, hmm? Yeah, we'll be back, like, tomorrow. <laughs> Change back into our clothes. Thank <laughs> you.